before we ran away from Karakosh, it was like a paradise for me, like a heaven. Uh, and after I returned, it was like a hell. It was like uh, I smell uh, things uh, so bad, I can't even imagine. Uh, blood, uh, dirt, bodies, and uh, it was like a ghost, a ghost town. No lights, no nothing in it. Noah, her husband and little daughter are amongst about 5,200 families who've returned to Karakosh, Baghdida in the Syriac language, following its liberation from Islamic State in October 2016. Amidst ransacked dwellings, destroyed streets and razed churches, the Syriac Christian community started making plans for the recovery of their hometown, everyone trying to contribute however they could. Nor, an architect, joined the town reconstruction committee. Many families, many Christians, has left Iraq, and uh, I also thought about it, thought about leaving, and uh, but many things kept me in here. Uh, my family, uh, my work, I need to help in here, so that's kept me from leaving. I work in the office, uh, do all the information, all the data, so I can help the other families uh, can build and reconstruct their houses. From here we, we make this, uh, this street. The reconstruction committee was started by the Chaldean Catholic Church of Iraq. With financial help from various organizations, the church started a large-scale recovery program through which thousands of houses have already been reconstructed in Karakosh. One year ago, there were no life in this uh, city because there were many challenges. Uh, one uh, is uh, security, uh, second, uh, destroyed houses, burnt houses, uh, and uh, infrastructures. Uh, so uh, these all are a challenge uh, to not come back. Many uh, also they decide to go outside, but more than the number of uh, uh, people go outside, they come back. We uh, empower uh, the population uh, to st stay here and fight for existence of this uh, people in this uh, area. Father George hopes that the reconstruction efforts will make people who have found refuge elsewhere believe that there is still a future for Karakosh and pack for a return journey. This is all Karakosh. It starts from here. There are a lot of lanes, tiny lanes, but actually most of the houses are demolished here because either because they are old or they, be, they have been destroyed or burned by Daesh. Dr. Anis Benam is Vice President of Al Hamdaniya University for Administrative Affairs and Chairman of its English Department. He says that Syriac Christians have had a significant role in the region, not just in building it over the centuries alongside other nationals, but also in providing the best professionals in the modern era. And that most doctors and teachers in the area traditionally come from the Christian community of Karakosh. He himself is deeply rooted in the town. This is, you know, the place where, where I spent most of my, my life. I have been brought up here and I, I love it. I want to stay here forever and I cannot find myself elsewhere. I tried my best to do that, but I failed. So this is the natural place that I would like, you know, just to stay forever and to be useful in my community. Current efforts to rebuild are backed up by certain lessons from history, Dr. Benam continues. Most of the people of this area immigrated from Tikrit, maybe 900 ago, and they came and rebuilt this area. So we had, we had a lot of experiences from the past and we, we may rely on them. Where there is, there is a will, there is a way. We are emotive people by nature, okay? If I'll not do this, I don't think that my fathers and grandfathers would be happy. So we will do that for their sake. The kitchen, now filled with the fragrance of coffee, was reduced to rubble after Faraj Toma Youssef's family fled for their lives to nearby Ankawa. 
What was left of the house is in pictures on Yusuf's phone. The reality is much brighter now. Yusuf has been able to rebuild. The basement, he says, had been used by Islamic State for keeping captive women and children before transporting them away from Iraq. His restored house, however, does not add much to Faraj's sense of security. He thinks that, without international protection, the security of Christians in Iraq is unpredictable. I think uh, important, important point we have, we want international protect. Because why? I am a Christian, I am a Christian. I cannot fight anybody. But if there is law uh, protect me, I don't afraid from anyone. Now, no, uh, now, now, Christian in Baghdad, in in another ways, they they killed, they killed like uh, like animal, like animal. No one take the, the, the criminal to to the court or or uh, anything. They they go like uh, like like water, like water in the street, like cigarette. The important thing we want protect international. I think in Karagosh. Iraq, Iraq like uh, Iraq with, with without Christian, like garden without rose. A particular target for the Islamic State group in Karakosh, as everywhere, was churches. The extremists were not able to make the iconic 13th century St. Mary al Tahira church bow under pressure, but its wounds are still evident. They uh, used this square of this ancient church as a shooting training for the terrorists. Adrian Abba cites different episodes of history, the Iraq-Iran war in the 1980s and the 2003 Iraq war, to prove his point that Christians have been and always will be challenged in this Muslim-majority region. Actually, ISIS is not the only cause of suffering for us. The Christians in Iraq have been suffering for decades. And living here as a Christian will always be a challenge. And yet, my grandparents, my family and myself, we're still here still standing. The noise of construction filling the streets of Karakosh is a loud statement that the majority Christian town is making steady steps towards its recovery. I dream of Karakosh, my town. Uh, it will be better than before and in the future and uh, be better and better. So that we can live in it and to stay in it and not, never leave. You know, I am you know, fully confident that, you know, the future, maybe the near future of this place would be something great. Okay, we can do it. We can manage it.